Uh, we had a little excitement here in the Philippines in Cebu City yesterday on Sunday, September 29th. Uh, me and my girlfriend were up at a friend's house in Talamban, kind of on the north side of Cebu City, up in the, a little bit of the hilly area, I guess, and Pitos, actually. The window blinds started shaking, rattling, and we, we, we felt that was the noise that we felt. We saw the window blinds uh, shaking maybe five, six seconds, something like that. And right away, my friend said, that's an earthquake. That's, uh, they've lived there many, many, many years. I don't know, seven, eight, nine years, I think. And uh, he said, that's the first earthquake we have felt. And I turned on my Volcanoes and Earthquakes app. You can download an app to your, uh, to your phone. Uh, your your Android phone or your Apple phone. They also have this. What we're looking at is their online Philippine Phil Star Philippine Star newspaper under Nation magnitude 5.1 quake jolt Cebu. And interesting, their map. They don't show Camotes Island over here, so uh, they don't show where it actually happened for some strange reason. Somebody really wasn't paying attention. The tremor occurred at 2.53 p.m. and its epicenter was located 16 kilometers. It'd be, no, nine, nine miles or so south of Poro Town, Camotes Island. Quick was felt at intensity 4 in Poro and Talise City, Cebu. Talise City is uh, south of Cebu City. And yeah, volcano, volcanodiscovery.com, earthquakes, quake, strong Magnitude 5.1 earthquake 10 kilometers south of Poro, Philippines on Sunday, September 25th. And shows us where it is right there. Julian, almost a super typhoon uh, affecting the northern Luzon area, even down towards Manila area here. This red box here is the uh, Philippine area of responsibility. When a named storm goes into this box, it's Philippine agency uh, responsibility to track it. And what they do, they change the name when it comes in here, crosses that. They change the international name out here uh, to a different name until it and then leaves and becomes an international name again over here. So uh, let's look at the story here. Typhoon Julian, international name Carathon was further intensified, nearing the super typhoon category as it bar barrels across the northernmost island of Luzon, Pagasa said, that's the agency. As of 7 a.m. on Monday, September 30th, the Eye of Julian was located over the coastal waters, um, Cagayan, with maximum sustained w winds of 175 kilometers per hour. Near the center, gustiness reaching up to 212 kilometers per hour. Here's a map, and these, uh, yeah, these these storms, these typhoons, sometimes they have some really strange patterns, and they've got a number of forces: high pressures, low pressures, uh, mountains, and other things affecting their their flow. Of course, the ocean has a lot of effect on it. Also, the very warm when it hits the very warm waters of the Philippine Sea, it oftentimes will go from a storm up to a typhoon or even a super typhoon. Anyway, this this is Luzon, the northern end of Luzon. The Batinas Islands out here, you got Taiwan up here, China, China, Hainan Island, I think is Hainan Island. And here's one of my favorite apps, windy.com. It is free on the internet, or you they have apps for Android and Apple as well. And here we are. This is this is uh, the Philippines from down here. Uh, you got Palawan over here, the Visayas. I'm here in Cebu City, and uh, northern Luzon and the Batanas Islands, which belong to the Philippines, up here as well. Taiwan up here. So it's having a major effect up in this area. And we can zoom in a little bit further there. Uh, weather radar, excellent, excellent uh, site here, and uh, really back over to satellite view there. Get the wind. So, so many things that you can key into here. Rain accumulation, 
might be interesting. Just see what do we have to hit there. 209 millimeters. 100 millimeters is about 4 inches. So you're looking at uh, what about 8, eight inches at that particular point you can click on things and get uh, get different 70 millimeters there and this app is good all over the world you can uh, in fact I can go to 3d down here 3d mode gives you kind of around the earth and you can uh, you can search around your area back here in the US I think you've got a storm uh, yeah, the storm just went through went through Florida, Florida Panhandle. I've got a friend who lives in uh, Central Florida. He said he was without power for quite a while, and that storm was already up here in the uh, East Coast, the U.S. It looks like I think North Carolina got battered very well, as did Georgia. Some things to keep in mind: average versus normal. If your weatherman ever uses the word "normal," normally this, uh, there's no such thing as normal uh, anywhere in the world. I pretty much anywhere in the world, uh, even the desert. The, you know, you can get averages, but uh, even in Phoenix, Arizona, I've experienced a very, very stormy, wet uh, monsoon seasons in that had record amounts of. Of rain so anyway getting back to the Philippines uh, you will you will read that the Philippines normally normally has 20 to 22 named storms that entered the Philippine area of responsibility well this has been for instance this has been a very quiet year so far and uh, like I said, that red, that, that little dotted box that goes around the Philippines area of responsibility, a lot of times they never make landfall. And, uh, you know, average averages are completely different than normal. Every year is different. I've been here uh, nine years now, and boy, every year has been different. Uh, 20, 2015, when I came, the wet season was a drought period. And we, we still had rain three, four times a week, but not nearly as much as in the normal wet, in the average. <laughs> um, there you go. I'm using the word normal. Should be a four-letter word. Um, four years later, 2019, during the wet season, we were in a drought. In fact, uh, there were many parts, even in Cebu City, that uh, their, their shallow wells ran dry, and they had to get up in the middle of the night and uh, with their container and go down hoping the water truck would come by to supply them, fill their, their containers with water. Sometimes that truck would show up, sometimes it wouldn't. We traveled around Bohol, and there were a few resorts we were thinking about staying at. No water, no water, sir. Uh, you know, we, we carry it in, we bring it in, we have used uh, sea water to wash with, and but uh, I said, well, is there a discount? Discount for the room with without the water. I mean, they had water in a pail and stuff you could use. You could get bottled water to drink. No discount. No no discount, sir. You know, just on an off topic. Same thing happens in the stores. You'll find an item, and it is damaged in some way. A, a battery-operated fan, for instance, uh, electric and fan. I've had a battery also and a light and a radio. And I think one of the lights didn't work or something. Well, do you have a discount? It's the only one we have. Well, do you have a discount? No discount, sir. You have to pay full price for the damaged item. And uh, that's happened many times. Just makes no sense at all. I will be doing one or more videos soon about uh, risks in the Philippines. And they will have to do with uh, weather risks, with uh, typhoon tracks, average typhoon tracks, and more about the weather, uh, earthquakes, fault zones, a um, number, number of other things, NPA and, and other risks, uh, types of risks, and I will put those up on my member site first. If you haven't uh, become a member, there's two levels in the member site, site and uh, you can join there. You get some exclusive uh, videos, and uh, anyway, anyway, it's, it's uh, a lot of research that I put into some of these videos and uh, the the 
competition, number number one, YouTube has competition from uh, TikTok and Facebook and, and other sites now. So I think their, their advertiser money from their advertisers is spread out broader. And you also have where, where I started, you know, maybe there was, you know, five or ten, no, only five, five or less uh vloggers that I knew of here in this part of the Philippines and now there's probably 500 vloggers and another <laughs> another 20 or 100 uh, every month so the competition among vloggers and uh, the, the the money just isn't there from the ad revenue anymore and so uh, the membership is one way to try to generate a little bit of income it costs camera software traveling to do various videos uh, cost to do those types of things. Repair my laptop a couple times. Uh, I think five, six, seven thousand a shot. Uh, anyway, think about joining that membership site as well. And there should be a link in the lower lower right hand corner of uh, my channel videos uh, to join the memberships. There is also PayPal. There's uh, the first comment of most videos. I, I list. Uh, I list my PayPal account, my buy me a coffee account that's worth like $4.50, I think they send me for buy me a coffee. And so the PayPal account and the, the membership account as well. So anyway, let's get on with the video. And if you're interested, here is an uh, intensity lo level of earthquakes. Now, I... Uh, I don't know if this is actually current, if they have upgraded that since I since I found this on the internet or not, but should be pretty close to uh, those categories. I think they uh, a couple of years ago they did change their uh, wind, hurricane, hurricane, typhoon uh, type uh, classifications. I think that was what they changed. Earthquake classifications are probably still the same. So jumping over to Google Earth Pro, it's free download uh, for your phones or your your laptop, your computer. Anyway, we have uh, zoom out here a little bit. We've got the Philippines, Philippines here, uh, Luzon, the Visayas, Palawan, Mindanao down here, and we're up kind of right in the middle, which has some advantages. Uh, Cebu City right here has an international airport, uh, the most uh, direct international flights other than uh, NAIA up in Manila, the main Manila airport. Uh, so you had the, the earthquake, this is Camotes Islands. Part, it is part of uh, Cebu province, I'm pretty sure. I think there's four islands there and the earthquake happened right off uh, the coast a ways out here in the water. And uh, they felt it in parts of Leyte. They have uh, felt it in parts of Bohol. They have felt uh, even up in Manila area. I, I saw one report up in Manila, up in this area. There's one or two reports even way up here. In the past, I have felt this is the fifth, uh, fifth and strongest earthquake I have felt, which really wasn't very 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 strong where we felt it but uh, I think the last one I felt occurred over here over here by Surigao Surigao Island area Surigao City zoom in here a bit so it happened uh, yeah happened out in here can we see is the resolution good enough uh, is this a fault zone that line out there is that a fault zone possibly around in that area there not absolutely sure. Now, the resolution isn't isn't really that good here. Can't really tell if these are uh, extinct volcanoes, ancient volcanoes. Probably one there. But what is that? See that line? Amazing what you can see on uh, Google Earth. Anyway, uh, you know, in past past uh, typhoons that have hit. Uh, Luzon up there, we we uh, had a lot of inflow from the southwest of uh, rain and very windy conditions for a number of days. But this uh, we're not getting it today. We got a little bit of breeze. Got my windows open, my balcony door open, and not using my aircon. Got a little bit of breeze, a uh, little bit of effect. Uh, you know, systems as large as this typhoon. 
uh, you can see covers a, a large area, but we're not getting the uh, big inflow of rain and moisture from the southwest that we have in the past couple of uh, typhoons that went through the uh, northern Luzon type area. So a little different type of system out here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to your comments. Did you feel it if you're here in the Philippines? Take care, safe travels, and I'll see you next time.